The market takes another nosedive and the bulls are starting to run out of room. Can they fight back? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so the market took another nosedive yesterday, dropping over 3% and breaking the 4,000 barrier. It continued to drop after hours before finding a bottom and getting a small rally from the bulls. The question is, is this a real rally from the bulls or another fake out breakout? I'll get into all that in just one second. But first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, with the move down today and then in the overnights, the bulls are kind of starting to get their backs up against the wall. So let's jump into the charts and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the five minute futures chart for the S&P 500. And you can see we got the big move down today, the 3% move down into the 3900s area. And then after hours, they sold off pretty hard down to about 3961. From there, the bulls have rallied back up over 4000 and have a structure that they're trying to build off of. There was actually for overnight hours, pretty heavy volume on the low. And if we can get one more push higher here, that could count as five up in a micro structure. Now, five up in a microstructure like this is not super reliable, so we need to see a pullback hold and then a wave three at that point that would push higher and take out this high. And ultimately, we would like to see an impulsive rally over this 4070 area to give us a good idea that the bulls have found a bottom and are trying to make a rally higher. So basically what we're watching for, guys, is can they, they're looking like they're trying to do it here. Can they get a five wave rally up, a pullback, and then a wave three, four and five up over 4070 to get us started in the next move higher or do we still have lower to go and if we have lower to go okay the 3930 area is really where the bulls need to find their support and start to uh, find a reversal there if we break 3930 that should be a very strong warning that we are in a bigger degree wave four down and a break of 3900 would confirm that in that case, we would be looking at a target of around 3750 for this move down to complete. So again, not a whole lot has changed from yesterday other than we're 3% lower than we were to start the day. And we are looking for a bull rally to, rally to commence if it hasn't started already. So 3930 ends up being a key level for us to watch. If that breaks, we're going to watch 3900, but it, the break of 3930 should be a warning for the bulls. Otherwise, we're looking for an impulsive push up over this 4070 peak to give us an indication that the bulls are starting an impulsive rally to the upside. Okay, over on the NASDAQ, we're looking at a very similar situation where we've made a low and one more high here could be counted as five up on the microstructure. And if that's the case, we would need a pullback and then a push higher on the NASDAQ. For the NASDAQ, we would want it to push up above 12,625. If we can get a push up above that, Okay, and an impulsive structure, that would be a great sign for the bulls to indicate a bottom was in and we may be starting the next impulsive move higher. However, if they cannot get that going and they move lower, they really need to hold the 12,000 level. A break of the 12,000 level will be a warning to the bulls that the structure is not going to hold and give us the impulsive reversal we were looking for to the new highs. And we will be looking lower before we head higher. Guys, if you like the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. Okay, there's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link and it will take you right over to the website. Once you get over there, check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible plans. They both come with a seven-day free trial because we want you to get in there, love it, and become part of our trading team before you ever spend a penny. In my room, the Invest with Jacob room, you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, and all of your Elliott Wave questions answered. We do trade the SPY and the QQQ, and we swing trade, which means our trades last anywhere from a few days to a few months, so we don't trade quite as often as a day trading room does. However, if you are looking for individual stocks as well as day trading, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room, as well as individual stocks, day trading, and PT's reduced risk binary method that absolutely crushes the market. You really need to see it to understand it and believe how well it works, and that's why we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into a small account trading mini ES futures, and he is averaging 3 to 4% gains per week in that account, showing you how to build a small account into a big retirement or savings account. It's a wonderful group of traders and a great community, so we'd love to have you in there so we can make some money together. All right, guys, key takeaways for today. The bulls need to push higher. It looks like they're starting to push up over here to give us that five-wave structure we're looking for. Then they'll need to hold a pullback and push up over 40.70 to give us an indication that they may have found a bottom. 
conversely, if they do break this low, 40, 30, or 39, 30 is the key level to watch. If that breaks, it is a warning to the bulls. And ultimately, if 3,900 breaks, we would be looking lower before we head higher at that point. Over on the NASDAQ, same thing. It looks like we're starting to get that five up here. We need them to hold a pullback and then push up over this 12, 621 area push up over that in an impulsive fashion and the bulls are in control and we may just have a bottom in place. However, if they do head lower, they need to hold that 12,000 area. Otherwise, if that breaks, it should be considered a warning to the bulls. All right, guys, that is the market update for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.